Welcome everyone, my name is Nettie Chen and I would like to welcome you all to Insanity Check. On today's show, we will be talking about cold-blooded mind control, hot porn, and what could be the perfect prophylactic. And now, here are the boys. Ken, everybody, and welcome back to Insanity Check. Uh, we told you it took a little bit longer than we thought, but uh, here we are. Uh, of course, I am not alone. I am here with my man Skillet. Uh, Hello. That's Hi. it. Hello. <laughs> well, I can't say my normal greeting, which is Insanity Check Radio, because we're no longer on radio, so I have to say just hello. But I'll come up with something as time goes on. Please do. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, as you can see, we have a, a new backdrop. We have some actual furniture here. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, oh you yeah. know things are you know stepping up a little bit and, yes. and a little bit more but spread out now. There's, but, there's, uh, there's something else that's here too. Uh, I don't know. My cup is still here. I mean, the cup is still the here. Cup is still here. Don't uh, zoom in. Whatever you do, don't, <laughs> don't zoom, zoom in. Don't zoom in. That, that's for a later date. Yeah, you really can but... you can get a, a, a still shot on yeah. YouTube or something like that. But we've but, been infiltrated. But uh, I think there's a white girl. I know, Insanity Check has been gentrified, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Brooklyn. This, this is Brooklyn after all. <laughs> so this is what we do here. The gentrification soon is going to be two. There's going to be two. We're going to be gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we would like to introduce to you uh, a Natalie all the way from Texas. Houston, Texas? Yes, sir. Houston, Texas. You, where's uh, your boots? Your, your boots? She straight up legitimately today. has boots. No, no, no lie. No lie. <laughs> And belt buckles. And belt buckles, and straight belt. up. Yeah. Um, so welcome to Thank the show. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Are you really? Are you really? Yeah, I was about to say. You know, people always say they're really. I'm but also very polite. I'm so good. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, I, <laughs> that I am. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good thing. And uh, you're going to be serving in a, a very specific capacity. Yes. Ooh. Yes, serving. Serving. In that capacity. Uh, as we yeah. promised you all. <laughs> As we promised you all, uh, we will be having pop culture now on the show. Um, boo! Is any like boo? Is any boos a boo? Uh, that is why dear Natalie is here. She will be um, bringing us up to speed on the uh, the crap, the bullshit, and the nonsense uh, that you know you folks seem to really care about. Um, but we don't care still. <laughs> uh, but you know. We'll, we'll see how this works out. We'll see how this works out. Fortunately, she is a lovely lady to look at, so that's going to help uh, the it's sting. A little yeah, a little bit, a little bit uh, more palatable. You know. you know, definitely a little bit more palatable. So I can like block everything out and just look. So you know, hey, it is what it is, man. I'm not, I'm not a sexist, by the way. I'm not, I'm not a sexist. Anybody raise your hands if you believe that's true? <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? I don't know. I, yeah. like, I don't know where I get that reputation from, man. I drink uh, out of a cup with titties on it, but that's about it. <laughs> that's that's about it. Man. It's art. It's art. So, as you can see, we are still who we are. Yes. Um, we just have a little addition, um, and hopefully things will be most wonderful. Um, so, we're going to start off today in true Insanity Check style uh, with one of our favorite subjects, pornography. Well, I'm uh, going to try and read from a teleprompter. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. don't want to do no Ron no, Burgundy no, shit here. No, you know, no. <laughs> I'm straight up afraid of some Ron Burgundy shit going on here, but, you know, we're going to see. We, we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> no laptops, uh, you nope, know. No um, tablets, nothing. We so. teleprompter today. So, um, Skillet, of course, uh, found a, an interesting article about, you know, the, the perils of pornography. Uh, you know, some people, you know, women, it seems to be, uh, mostly, they think that uh, porno is bad, it's dangerous. Who are it's... these women? Yeah, exactly. Who are these women? I, I don't I'm know, sorry, man. do you not agree? <laughs> no. Well, you know what? That's that's on the plus side. I got, I actually have a negative story, a, a negative feeling about pornography and its uses, but uh, we'll get to that. We'll okay. we'll get to that. But first, let's bracket it. Well, according to this article, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, porn can be harmful, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, men who report watching a lot of pornography 
tend to have less volume <laughs> and activity in the regions of the brain linked to rewards and motivation, uh, says a German, uh, new German study. Uh, the study also says that published in, in JAMA Psychiatry can't say watching porn caused the decrease in brain matter and activity. However, it's not clear, for, the, for example, whether watching porn leads to brain changes or whether people born with certain brain types uh, watch more porn, uh, says the study. Um, but she, she noted that the results provide the first evidence for a link between pornography uh, consumption and uh, reductions in brain <laughs> size and brain activity in response to sexual stimuli. Uh, it basically says that we found that the volume of the so-called stratum, uh, a brain region that has been associated with reward, uh, processing and motivated behavior, was smaller the more pornography consumption the participants uh, reported. Um, so that doesn't sound good. Uh, <laughs> that, 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 um, listen, I don't know about all of that. I just know that my problem with porn is very simple. I mean, I like well, it. Pray tell. No, listen, listen. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. tell you. Look, listen, this is my problem with porn. Porn promotes. Is this your problem with straight porn? Well, that's the only kind I live. I'm not into that Touché. animal shit and the, the, the machines that you, you people get dicked in the ass from machines. I'm talking about just regular porn that we may like. You know, I like what I like. But it promotes masturbation, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad no. thing. But when you handle your meats a lot, when you do get lucky and some other person, you know, the chick comes over to you, whatever, I'm so used to my own hands that a lot of times I have that period where, like, yo, it won't respond to anything but me. Okay. You know, so that's why I said it's bad. You know, that, so that extra 37,000 pounds of pressure you that, apply. Yeah, that's to what I'm saying. They're also, you know, I know how to put the grip on my meats. So it's, 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 it's so specific that, you know, you, 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 I've literally had situations where I'm like, yo, it's right there. You know, uh, 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 back in the days, it really, it really hit me back right when. You and I used to go to the, uh, the uh, book in those guys' place. And so I'm, I'm working it out, man. I got the cleanest guys down. That's just a regular video store, by the way. Yeah, it's whatever, like, whatever. Yeah. 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 But, it's not but too the, crazy. But the point is, you know, and then I had, like, some serious situations where the real live shit was right there, but I was so used to my own touch that it, it just messed everything up. So for that... Did you I, send yourself flowers? No, nah, man, no, but I tell you this much, man. I, I had, like, my hand went into witness protection for a minute. Mm. The shit was terrible. I mean, it was like a court order. I had a piece standing up like this. I couldn't even touch my shit. It was like a restraining order. Like, it, was, it was terrible. But in any case, that's a bad thing. But also, I think, you know, it's promoting a false sense of reality. Like, I made a joke right before we started recording that, you know, people that are weaned on pornography, since we have it on every device, everything, we can get yes. it instantaneously, instant gratification, these people growing up with this uh, access to porn thinks that, you know, as soon as they have a sexual situation, like I said, a woman's supposed to come slide in the bedroom on her knees waiting for a facial. That that's, is, that's not supposed to happen. No. Oh, it is, no. It's going to happen. That's just going to happen. She's just not going to enter the room just like that. But that, that's just going to happen. <laughs> Sounds like something else is being abused. <laughs> but what I'm saying is it, it, it just warps people's, you know, it's like, the, the, you know, the, the, their, their, their views of, I won't say traditional sex, but how a sexual encounter is supposed to go. Well, we have actually, <laughs> for the first time in two years, a female point of view. What say you, Natalie? I can definitely relate to it being affecting your own personal relationship with yourself and then relating it to being with another person. Hmm. Are you all, is your hand also in witness protection? <laughs> no, but the, the rabbit anymore. is. The rabbit, <laughs> the, 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 the rabbit is, right? <laughs> <laughs> when uh, it's much easier for myself to do it in 30 seconds, then sometimes I would get annoyed that it would take a little longer mm, 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 when you're mm. with someone else. So exactly. Living that up can this. definitely become an issue. Uh, as far as it affecting the brain and the brain size, I I don't get where this is coming from. What the sort of shit? Porn going to turn people into T-Rexes and shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. I mean, we all know that, you know, uh, if you do stuff... Repeatedly, it creates more brain synapses, synapses in it synapses in your brain, mm. and that's how people become professional, become skilled. Mm. You know, it, it alters your brain physically. Mm. So, I mean, I'm I sure. I think it definitely does more positive. Yeah, than negative. positive because you know, I, 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 I mean, I don't know. Well, you I aren't mean, you aren't given a manual with how to have sex, and porn is that manual. But it's it, but but it could also be a very skewed manual because like 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 there's just been porn dudes that like you know, for instance if you if you want to see a certain thing and you know on the side there's a whole bunch of different stuff 
And you click on that, and there was a dude, uh, I don't know if he makes movies anymore, named Rocco. Remember that dude? Is that Freddy? Yeah, he was a complete mm-hmm. misogynist. So, I mean, like, he's literally, like, putting his foot on the back of chicks' necks ah. and all sorts of shit like that. Nobody needs to see that. That's not my thing. But, you know, what if somebody looks at that and, like, oh, you know, I'm supposed to, you know, kick my woman in the back of her shoulders when we're fucking. Well, he'll that, learn real quick well, that doesn't that's fly. Right. <laughs> the, the jail, you know, the disclaimer, the jail disclaimer. But, yeah. but Well, and there, there, apparently there are some people who believe that porn can be helpful. Yeah. Um, Another Please. study uh, uh, says that porn can be helpful. Uh, Scientific Americans, uh, Melinda Wenner Mover, says that the research in several studies uh, suggests that <clears throat> moderate pornography <laughs> consumption <laughs> does not make users more aggressive. Uh, it doesn't promote sexism or you know harm relationships. If anything, some researchers suggest that exposure to por- pornography might make some people less likely to be commit sexual crimes. Mm-hmm. That's why you're probably not in jail. Yep. Um, <laughs> participants of both sexes uh, in a study of more than 600 Danish uh, men and women aged 18 to 30 found that self-promoting, self-reporting adults said that hardcore pornography <laughs> had a positive effect on their lives. And um, yeah, well, I mean, look, I guess it could bring people together because it's just another it's just another way in which you can bond with your mate. Mm-hmm. You know, and after a while things become, you know, regimented, you want to break static. out of the box and stand, you know, static. So I, I agree with that. And as far as in I mean, I think if you're a rapist, you're gonna rape <laughs> either way. Rape regardless whether you're watching <laughs> yeah, Exactly. You know, you're just gonna have more, porn you're just gonna have more ideas what you do with the woman after watching right. pornography, but a rapist is gonna rape. Come on, everybody. Everybody who loves porn. Raise your hands in the air. Yeah, you people in the back there. Y'all like care. porn? Anybody? No? <laughs> raise your goddamn hand. No. 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 Thumbs up to some porn. porn then. No. Nothing? Okay. But, uh, yeah, no, but I really think as far as... And then also, because of us having all of these um, devices where we can record our own experiences and stuff like that, it's making people more creative in the bedroom. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, now you're starting to become... More vulnerable. More vulnerable <laughs> in, in the case of, like, certain individuals we know that want to, like, put, like, hidden cameras all over the place like it's fucking London. But, um... Who the hell's that? I don't want to... I shout him out on this show. Who, what dude do we know that's always talking about borderline rape? Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm not going to shout him out on the no show. No comments. But, you know, like... <laughs> I think as far as in the pros and cons, it, it all depends on also the age demographic. I think the older demographic can, get, can embrace it in a positive way. But somehow someone who's just hit puberty, who has access to all of this stuff, you have people sharing pornographic clips back and forth, you know, as, as young teens, which is, you know, straight up illegal. You can't be showing, you know, women, little girlies titties and shit like that. Get on your cell phone. It's a wrap. The judge is not going to try to hear, oh, well, I'm 15 too. Yeah, whatever. That's how many years you're going to mm-hmm. get. So... That is, is, is really messed up things as far as that. And it's turned people, I think, that might not have otherwise been um, exhibitionists into exhibitionists because I think they, oh, they feel true. that it's expected of them. No, I feel like they think it's expected of them. Oh, let me share, you know, this little clip or you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So for well, the younger we, we generation. From personal experience. Oh, yeah. What amazing things can happen when you just pull a camera out. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, what was that? Don't get not, not, no, no comment. No, <laughs> no comment. No comment, no comment okay. huh? No comment. Okay, well, I mean, yeah. hey, I mean, so. if I have to say thumbs up or thumbs down, just like the, the old Cisco and Ebert shit to porn, I say thumbs up. Absolutely. I say thumbs up, you know. And it's also, it gets you out of a lot of trouble. If, you know, like if you ever wanted to go do something that you thought you might regret, work it out in front of the computer. <laughs> work and it out straight, Yeah, just work it out. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us. Next week, we will see Ratchet Nuptials, Delicious Mist, and an Ass Attack by the Youth. For Insanity Check, I'm Nettie Chan. See you soon!